hypothesis test using the given p-value. In order to conclude whether the mean value has changed, the null hypothesis is that mean value has not changed. And the alternative hypothesis is that mean has changed. For the level of significance equals alpha, for a two-tailed test, the area shaded under the two tails equals alpha by two. Now if the p-value, or the z-value, lies in this red shaded area, then the mean has changed. Consider this example. The magazine carried out a hypothesis test, at the 5% level of significance, to determine, whether the average speed had changed. The p-value of the test was, 0.024. What can the magazine conclude based on this p-value? Since the given p-value is less than, alpha. We can conclude that the mean value has changed. Note that the given p-value is the collective value, from the two tails of the standard normal curve. Consider the magazine found, that the average speed of this sample was lower than the previously established average speed of, 87.3 km per hour. Find the average speed of the cars in this sample. The population mean and the population standard deviation are also given. Number of samples is 100, and x bar is the required average value of the samples. Use this equation to find the x bar. First find the value of z. Use the given p-value to find the area to the left of z. The total area is 1, so the area to the left is 1 minus p by 2. This will give, z equals 2.26. As shown in the next slide. locate the area reading of 0.988, and then add values from the first column, and the first row, to obtain the z-value. Due to two tails, the z-value can be on the right side or the left side, that is, positive or negative. Since it is given that the average value has decreased, use the negative z-value. Now use this equation. Here is the required average speed of cars, in the given sample. 